Right, this lesson looks at how we can use um, logarithms and uh, exponentials to model data and get equations for them. So, if we have a think about, if you had some data that looked like this, then you could see that it follows um, generally a straight line, and you would find the equation of that line to fit it, and that would be of the form y equals mx plus c. But what happens if you have a curve, if it looks something like this? You can see that there's some sort of pattern to it, but it doesn't fit y equals mx plus c. It's a curve instead. Now, that curve, we'll, we're going to look at two ways that we could model them. It could either be y equals kx to the power of n, or y equals ka to the power of x. All right, so there's two different situations where this type of curve could happen. So let's have a look at this one first y equals kx to the n. Now if we follow this through taking log of both sides and then simplifying those logs then we get this log y equals n log x plus log k. Now that actually could be mapped onto a graph where log y would be put on the y-axis, log x would be put on the x-axis and then n would be the gradient and log k would be a constant so that would give us the y-intercept. In other words it would look like y equals mx plus c, it would make a straight line. So we get the following result. If you plot the graph of log y against log x and you get a straight line then that means that the relationship between x and y can be modelled with an equation that is of this form, y equals x, kx to the power of n, where n is the gradient and log k is the y-intercept of the graph that you drew for log y against log x. Right, the other situation is if it could be modelled with this equation, y equals k a to the power of x, Okay, let's have a look at what happens when we take log of both sides. Following our log rules we get this and we would put log y on the y-axis, we'd put x on the x-axis, as you see it hasn't gone to log x this time because it was in the power. Log a would be a number that gave us the gradient and log k a number that gives us the y-intercept, they would both be constants which means that we have another thing that looks like y equals mx plus c, also a straight line. So in this situation we've plotted the graph of log y against x and it gave us a straight line. That then means that the relationship between x and y can be modelled by the equation of the form y equals k a to the power of x, where log a is the gradient and log k is the y-intercept of that graph that you drew that plotted log y against x. Alright, let's have a look at a summary of those then. So if log y against log x gives us a straight line, then we have y equals kx to the n as the form of our equation. n being the gradient, log k being the y-intercept. If it takes plotting log y against x to get a straight line, then we have the other form, y equals k a to the x, where log a gives us the gradient and log k gives us the y-intercept. So let's have a look at how to actually use this. We are going to find an equation of the form E equals A W to the N, where E is energy expended and W is the weight. So this is like saying Y equals A X to the N, so that first form that we had. Um, we're just using the letters that refer to this actual question. So we've got weights in kilos and energy expended for a rabbit, man, horse and elephant. So first thing is to plot log E against log W because we have this form that tells us we're going to need to do the log of both ones and plot them against each other. So first of all working out log of each of those values on that table and then plotting them we get this graph. Now we can see that it makes roughly a straight line and from there we can read off uh, the values that we need. So we get the y-intercept is 1.8 and the gradient is negative 0.2 just reading off the graph like you would for any straight line. Right, from the y-intercept that gives us log k equals 1.8, so k equals 10 to the power of 1.8, which is 63. From the gradient that gives us n 
equals minus 0.2. So then we put it back into that form that we know about. Um, so we've put in E equals 63 W to the, the power of minus 0.2. We'll have a look at an example of the other type. So this time we're told we need an equation of the form p equals k a to the t. So this time our um, variable is in the power instead of being the thing that's getting raised to a power. Um, and we're doing it for this uh, table of data here, which is population in America. Right, so first of all, we need to work out the values of t because we want time since 1790 in years. And we need to work out log p. So just taking log of each of those values and then plot them on a graph. We can see that it makes roughly a straight line. And we're going to find the equation of that line to help us find the overall equation. So log k is the y-intercept, so that's 0.59, which we can read off of our table when t is 0. Log p was 0.59. So k is 10 to the power of 0 0.59, which is 3.89. Log a is the gradient. Now from our graph here, we work out our gradient. We can take exact values from our table of values. So that particular one I've picked out two points there has an x change of 40 and a y change of 0 0.52, just from reading off those values in the table. So that gives us a gradient of 0.013, which means a will be 10 to the 0.013, which is 1.03. Now pop that back into our equation and we get p equals 3.89 times 1.03 to the power of t.